We are so close to the NVIDIA RTX 4000 coming out, but people are still buying RTX 3000. Lots of people sort of, you know, they had comments on my last video talking about the prices going down and all of the NVIDIA sales. And I was a little bit surprised to see how many people are actually buying. NVIDIA has a pretty heavy strategy at this point for lowering the prices of these GPUs. We were talking about the recent Labor Day sale in the US of prices that have gone down, even some places overseas like the uk founders edition prices are going down as well so it's not only the us this time even though i know internationally a lot of people still have very high prices but anyway we had really really deep sales of nvidia gpus recently and i didn't think as many people would buy but if we take a look for example the 3090 ti founders edition at best buy originally 1999 and a while ago it went down to around you know 1599 1499 and that wasn't really very attractive for people but recently it was actually in stock at a thousand ninety nine so apparently that's cheap enough for people to actually buy it who's buying these gpus at this point definitely not crypto miners or at least not very many of them because ethereum is very close to the merge perhaps next week of course the scalpers are completely out of the game right now because prices have gone down way too much for them to be relevant so these are definitely going to be gamers that were perhaps waiting or they got something you know last uh, year and they wanted to upgrade to something a little bit beefier maybe they got a 3060 or maybe they're still hanging on to their 1070 from a couple of years ago and that 1100 3090 ti founders edition was just attractively priced enough to sell out priced pretty good is a windows cd key today's video sponsor is going to be vip-cdkdeals.com very simple process you can get a windows 10 pro cd key and remember to use code cc20 for a nice discount they seem to also have you know been selling out it's not instant like it was before now different gpus like for example from evga a lot of them that were under a thousand like the 3090 or the 3090 ti stayed for several days at that price it's not like uh, before a couple seconds and it sold out so definitely i'm not saying a lot of people are buying but there's definitely a good amount of people still buying these are some of the comments that were left in the in my last video somebody said that you know they're still buying they were on the reddit group that said you know many many people people were buying the GPUs because they were selling out on Amazon, on Newegg, and they could see that people were buying them. So certainly that's very interesting when you see actually, you know, community feedback. Somebody else, look at this other user. He, on Best Buy, he found the 3080 Ti for $739, and he bought it because he has a 3070 with 8 gigabytes of VRAM, and that's already being pushed, and he's playing at 4K. Now, if he can get rid of his 3070, he can basically get a 3080 Ti for not too much money. $739 seems actually pretty fair for a 3080 Ti even at this point in the game because a 3080 was $699 and even though this is a couple of years already after the RTX 3000 release, I mean if you really look at that price, that's pretty good. That's not too bad at all. I mean, what's an RTX 4000 going to have to be to compete with this? Maybe a 4070, maybe it's going to be a little cheaper and it might not perform exactly like like a 3080 Ti might be close. So you're taking a little bit of a gamble there, but who knows when the 4070 is actually gonna come out. That's gonna be another big factor here. We know that RTX 4000 is close, but which RTX 4000? As far as we know, Nvidia is gonna release first the RTX 4090, and we're thinking maybe they're gonna announce it sometime this month at GTC, which is gonna be you know later on in September. So maybe they could have an October release of the 4090, but that's the 40. 90. That's not a 4080 or 4070. Those could come well into next year. And by that time, you may be tired of waiting or one of these enticing deals may actually appeal to you where you can actually game from then until, you know, all the way when a 4070 does come out. And then who's to say that a 4070 is not going to be perhaps overpriced. They may not be priced like a 3070 and availability may be tight. Even if demand isn't really that great, Nvidia can artificially hold back demand Nvidia can artificially hold back production and what it gives to its retailers in order to make it seem like there are less on the market. And that's even something that Nvidia specifically said during their earnings call, you know, the last quarter that they were talking about 
you know, different inventory issues and that they're going to reduce the amount of GPUs that they sell to their third party AIB partners. So that way the inventory, which is already overflowing, at least it was before last quarter, um, it doesn't get any worse. And that means just producing less GPUs and there are less in the market, even with less demand, we can still have rare GPUs in terms of when you go to buy them before the problem was too many people wanted GPUs. Now the problem may be a decent amount of people will still want new GPUs, but the production is going to be much lower than it was before. Before, it seemed like production was constrained, and it was, if you look at the amount of people wanting it, but it was still pretty much record level production of new GPUs for the RTX 3000. So that's something NVIDIA could do. So if you're waiting for an RTX 4070, that may take a very long time, and who's to say a cheap 3080 Ti may not actually fill in that void. So while I must say I am a little surprised at the amount of people buying GPUs still, knowing everything that they know, I can't say I'm extremely surprised because the prices certainly have come down a significant amount. Now retail, you know, for example, that 3080 Ti for, you know, $739, that's definitely a significant, you know, discount off what it would have been last year. And it's still going to be a great performing GPU for the next several years. We're really sort of, you know, fighting over that that value of what it is now and what potentially an eventual RTX 4000 could be valued at according to its performance, which really we don't know. We don't know that a 4070 is going to beat a 3080 Ti. Nobody knows that for sure. Nobody knows how much VRAM that's going to have. Nobody knows the price that it may end up at or the availability. A lot of unknowns. What you do know is that this guy was able to get a 3080 Ti for $739, which according to the price of high-end GPUs, that's definitely a pretty good deal considering what's been going Going on in the market. So while you can't really say a blanket statement that nobody should buy a GPU now, you can see that there are definitely some cases where it makes, makes sense for a lot of people, depending where they are with their gaming build, exactly what they want to use it for. Look at this other user that bought an RTX 3080, the 12 gigabyte. They usually sell it for $800, he says, at Micro Center. He was able to get an open box for $683 before tax, and he had a 5% discount out the door. He was $700. $138. Now, while that's pretty close to the price the other guy paid for a 3080 Ti, this is an Asus Strix, which is going to be, you know, arguably a little bit more high end than the MSI 3080 Ti. Um, if you're just talking about sort of the, you know, product level, but of course, a 3080 Ti, even a regular MSI one, is going to perform better than even an Asus 3080. But this is, after all, the 12 gigabyte and not the original 10 gigabyte of the 3080 Strix, which is a lot closer in performance to a 3080 Ti. It's basically like a little bit of a cut down 3080 Ti. So that's really not that bad. I mean, you're getting it close to the original MSRP of the 3080, which was $699. This is a GPU that I had seen for as high as $1,500 um, around the time it came out last year. So you're you're definitely paying around half the price of what it would have been during the highest point of the market. Now, to this person, it's definitely worth it. And of course, remember, this is an open box, but I've gotten Micro Center open box products before, and they've always been absolutely fine. And you can save a pretty significant amount of money. If you see before tax year was under $700, so technically under the MSRP of the original 3080, even though it is, you know, a long time after the initial release, it's still a fairly decent deal. And then you have to ask yourself, what in our RTX 4000 for that price is going to be able to beat that and how long are you going to have to wait to get it so I completely understand why this guy would have gotten it he didn't say what GPU that he had so who knows if he could have waited longer but of course the guy with the 3070 definitely could have waited if he wanted but he was being bottlenecked at 4k so that totally makes sense and no reason he can't sell his 3080 Ti when the RTX 4000 does come out because at the price that he got that at even this guy at 3080 which is a you know the Strix which is going to be a pretty nicely in demand GPU basically forever, or at least for the next three, four years. I mean, people still buy 30, uh, 1080 Ti's, even though they came out a long time ago, basically ancient history. There's always going to be a market. Of course, he's not going to get back exactly what he spent on it now, but even after some depreciation, GPUs certainly do hold their value. So even without a, a crazy market, it's possible he's going to retain a decent amount of that value. And then in the future, he can trade up to a 4080 or 4070, whatever.
whatever really you know hits that spot for the performance and the price that he's going to eventually pay so definitely not a bad deal it's not like he's paying fifteen hundred dollars now for that rtx 3080 at the price that he's paying at around half that i could still see an argument for that even though generally most people should wait you can see there are cases where people are definitely finding these new nvidia sales a little bit too tantalizing not to sort of give in and buy a gpu now and then of course don't forget about amd they had some fairly high pricing for a long time you know in reference to their original msrp for example the 6900 xt which i think is a fine gpu was supposed to be 999 dollars but for most of last year you would see them for 1500 to even up as, as high as 2500 basically around the price of an rtx 3090 even during the gpu craze so now they've come down a considerable amount according to this guy here he said that people are buying the last time that he checked micro center they sold out of the red devil 6900 xts now if he he said he jumped on a 6800 xt red devil for 599 dollars new very close to that original msrp a little bit under 699 dollars for a new 6900 xt now that's not a bad price i mean amd is definitely improving their fsr technology and everything else with their resolution scaling often as well as an rtx 3090 and you know of course without counting ray tracing which nvidia definitely has an advantage in but who knows what rdna3 is going to bring and what type of pricing it's going to be the same story as when we talk about nvidia but 6900 xt as it gets closer to that seven to six hundred dollar mark definitely not bad that's close to the price of a 3080 ti and a 3080 and of course it's going to perform a little bit better in traditional rasterization so comparing to what the other users bought you can definitely Definitely see an argument for buying the GPU when it's at this price. I just think, in summary, when RTX 4000 is announced, not even released, I think these prices are going to tend to go down even more on the secondhand market, at least for a little while. Now, it's possible NVIDIA wants to keep RTX 3000 on the market, and they're going to stabilize these prices sort of where they are, like a, you know, a 3090 Ti may stay at around $1,100 at its lowest. So we don't know exactly what's going to happen during the next few months. I don't expect these prices to go down a huge amount more on the second hand market they may depending if there's a huge you know ethereum issue where ethereum goes proof of stake which it likely will and there's a huge you know market flood we could see these gpus going down even cheaper but i think nvidia would just stop producing gpus at that point rather than discount the retail so you're gonna have to find those really good deals likely on the second hand market where definitely the prices will continue to drop unless there's a different change in the demand dynamic which certainly can happen as well all right guys so let me know down below what you think have you bought a gpu recently at what price would you consider buying one remember to subscribe smash that like button and i'll see you guys on the next video